Ompong International Name Mangkot enters the Philippine Area of Responsibility or PAR at 3 p.m. Wednesday, September 12. Katanduanes is placed under signal number 1. At 5 p.m., State Weather Bureau Pag-asa says Ompong is east of Virac, Katanduanes, moving west at 20 km per hour. The typhoon has maximum winds of 205 km per hour and gustiness of up to 255 km per hour. Signal number 1 could also be raised in Cagayan, Isabela, Aurora, Camarines Norte, and Camarines Sur by Thursday morning, September 13. On Thursday, Ompong might become a super typhoon. The typhoon is also enhancing the southwest monsoon or hanging habagat, which could trigger moderate to heavy rains in the following areas. Zamboanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, Siquijor, Surigao del Norte, Agusan del Norte, Dinagat Islands, Lanao del Sur. Ompong might make landfall in the northern tip of Cagayan Saturday morning. Meanwhile, in the United States, more than a million people were ordered to evacuate the path of Hurricane Florence Monday, September 10. On its current track, Florence is expected to slam the Carolinas and Virginia the hardest. Florence is a Category 4 on the 5-level Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale. Forecasters predict Florence will make landfall in the Carolinas late Thursday, September 13, or early Friday, September 14, as a Category 3 hurricane. Ousted Chief Justice Marie Lourdes Sereno slams President Rodrigo Duterte for, in her words, dragging the military into his political mess. What President Duterte did by not consulting even the military is very dangerous. In other words, kumbaga pinahama ni President Duterte ang AFP. Sereno says Duterte's Proclamation 572 is a threat to other soldiers previously granted amnesty, including AFP Chief Carlito Galvez, Senator Gringo Honasan, and thousands more. Sereno warns of the grave implications of Duterte's actions for the military. Ang implikasyon po nito ay napakalalim at nakakabahala. Ibig sabihin po, imbis na buo ang sandahataang san, uh, sandatahang lakas ay magkaka-watak-watak sila at laging may agam-agam na ang nasarhan na ay maari pang buksan. Malagim po ang maaring mangyari. Socioeconomic Planning Secretary Ernesto Pernia says President Rodrigo Duterte agrees to issue an executive order to address soaring inflation. The possibility was discussed in Duterte's meeting with economic managers Tuesday, September 11. The order will implement measures meant to lower prices of essential food items like rice, poultry, and sugar. One of these proposals is the streamlining of licensing procedures for rice imports of the National Food Authority. Another is for the Philippine National Police, National Bureau of Investigation, and farmers groups to be part of a monitoring team ensuring rice stocks from ports reach NFA warehouses and retail outlets, a measure against rice hoarders. The NFA Council also approved the importation of 5 million sacks arriving in November. The Environment and Natural Resources Department is looking for ways to persuade over 15,000 workers to move out of Boracay. A study commissioned by the DENR says Boracay's population exceeds the island's carrying capacity. Environment Secretary Roy Simatu says they want workers to live in mainland Aklan to decongest Boracay. We'll look for a place, a, an area medyo accessible doon for uh, private investors to put up a dormitory type uh, buildings and uh, don't make stay yung mga uh, workers. Boracay was closed for rehabilitation last April 26 and is set to reopen on October 26. The agency's commission study found that Boracay can accommodate a total of 54,945 people a day. Simatu says they need to reduce stay in workers, which is currently at 22,395. The Commission on Elections postpones to October 11 to 17, excluding weekends, the filing of Certificates of Candidacy or COCs for the 2019 national and local elections. COC filing was originally scheduled October 1 to 5. This comes after both the Senate and House of Representatives adopted separate resolutions urging the Comelec to reschedule the COC filing. Lawmakers say moving the COC filing will allow them to focus on their legislative duties first. Mm -hmm. 